second day of the trip now. It's May 16th, I think it is. And uh, very, very cold morning. It was minus two overnight, maybe a little bit colder. It felt like than that even. My shoes were absolutely frozen solid. I left them outside my bivy bag for the night. And everything else had pretty heavy frost on it. You know, the fish were biting first thing this morning. Head took a cast, caught one right from shore. And uh, hopefully that's a sign of the uh, things to come for the day. Hopefully the fishing is better than it was yesterday. But nice morning so far. But I'm just noticing now it's starting to cloud over. So we'll see what the, the day has in store for us for, for weather. We're on a river, not much wider than this for the entire day. We've got a few portages around some waterfalls and dams. There'll be some beaver dams and, and log jams and stuff to get around too, I'm sure. So it'll be a fun day. It's going to be interesting, exciting, and, and strenuous at the same time. But kind of uh, what I was thinking last night is, you know, at the end of the portages and then getting to camp, that sort of a metaphor. These canoe trips, fishing trips, are a metaphor for life. You think about uh, how much sort of misery or discomfort there is throughout our daily lives and then you get these moments of of bliss or happiness or or a beauty and that's what a, a canoe trip is to me you get these long paddles that are strenuous you get uh, weather that you have to deal with some t almost always there's some bad weather on a trip you get these portages that are nasty and heavy equipment that you're carrying on your shoulders bearing down on my spine just very just uncomfortable and strenuous and, uh, and then you get to your destination or you get catch that beautiful fish or you see a moose or hear the loons hear the geese back in this back country where they're more wild and uh, just makes everything all that effort worthwhile and i'm finding that um, is true with most things in life there's a lot of discomfort and a lot of misery a lot of struggle and uh, just moments of pleasure that make it all worthwhile. I think it's good for all of us to seek out those things that give us um, meaning, meaning and pleasure and, and fulfillment, um, despite the hard work that it that it takes to to get to that point or to achieve that. So even if it's life is 98% difficulty, difficult or misery, or whatever, but uh, you get these moments of you know, of extreme. Pleasure is a bad word for it because that's that's not a, a great pursuit for the for the uh, pleasure itself or for that uh, one emotion. But uh, certainly, it's uh, uplifting just to have a morning like this or be on a campsite like this last night and overnight. And the, the bright moon was was uh, very visible in the sky. Lots of stars and the reflection of the moon on the river early this morning. Uh, just made it all worthwhile and made those those uh, moments of misery uh, that much more easy to bear so hopefully you can find stuff like that in your life those just uh, the things that make you happy and the things that give you meaning and uh, uplift you make that rest of the that uh, life more, more easy to bear the thing is that it's been times in my life and I'm sure there is in yours that that I'm um, not working hard enough and life is less fulfilling. This, When things were going well, when I started my business, it felt like things were going to go forever. And I was not prepared for that failure or for people um, betraying me. And so it's, it's a bad idea to get lazy and complacent and not put yourself in those situations that challenge you. Because then you're not prepared for the real challenges when they do come along unexpectedly and some some that are more serious so it's worthwhile to continue to challenge yourself find the things that are uh, make your your life more difficult so that you're better prepared for those moments of of extreme challenge or importance um, and i know I, i've had periods like that in my life and sometimes it it's you know just staying home and doing nothing seems like the easy way not dealing with people if you have a social anxiety it uh, seems like the better route, but it um, doesn't take long for that to become habit. And then you lose your ability to interact with others or to get yourself out of the challenging situations. So I find that um, when life is going well, I need to do these types of trips 
a more so more i need to challenge myself more in order to hone my skills keep myself sharp and and able to uh, deal with the hardships when they do come because inevitably they are got a pretty stable period in my life right now but i've got kids and parents that are still alive that are going to decline in health and we all, all kinds of things my own health that i have to worry yeah, about so i've got to make sure i'm prepared for that. Your... 